throw you back. Ah! We back, y'all. We back, man. We back, man. Ah! So, came through, man. Seen some show on SmackDown that I did not like. And it's from Backlash. Backlash is looking good, but... What's missing is story and competency. <laughs> Where's the competency, guys? What's going on, man? So, I'm watching SmackDown, you know. SmackDown's, but SmackDown was okay. It was whatever. You know, and then, you know, watching SmackDown, and we see a card pop up for a match that's happening in that backlash, and it's Seth and Omas. And I'm trying to think, when did these two guys have any interaction in the last three since WrestleMania? And they literally have not done anything with neither one of those two guys since WrestleMania. And all of a sudden, these two guys are popping up at Backlash for a match. And they could have just waited until Raw to kind of sort all this out. But they posted the card up. Hey, Omos, Seth's going to be there. Why not wait until Raw to kind of solidify that? But no, let's just let's just put it out there. People are gonna be excited, I guess. Like ah, I, I like I like I, I would have been okay with it, you know, if they built up a story, something, you know, anything. Like I don't like just doing random shit. I, I, sometimes it's okay if it's on like the the regular Raw and Smackdowns, but when it comes to pay per views, bro, you gotta build it up, man. Build that shit up. You wasted people's time doing certain things that been happening on Raw and SmackDown lately. Since WrestleMania, it's kind of been a shit show. You know, they had the whole flight thing on Raw, which is fine. People miss their flights. All right, you figure other things out. Certain things, look, personally, I wouldn't have did. I thought they could have did a little bit better on making certain things go happen on Raw and kind of... Uh, mixing things up and making things make sense. You know? But they didn't. They just shoehorn matches into the show. That's all they do. Ever. It's just shoehorn these freaking matches that get boring, that's over too, too long. You know what I mean? It's, it, it just doesn't make any sense. So, like, the Seth Rollins and Omos thing, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Doesn't make. Hopefully they can, they can make it make sense once. Obviously, they, I think they're gonna have, um, uh, they're gonna have MVP be the like, the guy who kind of made this match go the way it goes. You know what I mean? The guy who, who was like, I need an opponent for Omos. Okay, Seth Rollins not doing anything. Blah blah blah. They're gonna have MVP come out and, and like serve uh, Seth Rollins. You know, same thing they kind of did with Brock for WrestleMania, but they're going to do the same thing with, um, with Seth. Excuse me. And then we got Bob and Reed, who just had a one-on-one. -on -one, and, you know, Reed just attacked him and stuff. And now we got Theory all of a sudden just being pushed in for the United States Championship. Just, bro, you have, you have people there to use. You can utilize, you know what I mean? You got guys you can utilize for this stuff. I don't, I'm, I'm, it just confused me sometimes because one theory just beat John Cena. So who's going to be taking this pin in this match? Because one, Bobby shouldn't be taking a pin right now. If, if Bobby's going to take a pin, it should be to Reed. If, you know what I mean, they build and read up, it should be to Reed. One, one Reed should be losing to. Theory, he should be losing to Bob if that's going to be the case. Those two guys should be either losing to one another. 
Not with theory in the mix at all. Like, at all. So who's going to be the guy who takes the pin? It should be Bobby. It shouldn't be theory either. And it shouldn't be Reed. So whoever made this bullshit, no. I'm not, nah. And we're not going to sit here and say, oh, it's Vince this and Vince that. No. Triple H has been doing some stupid shit too. Let's, let's not cut the, let's not sit around here and act like Vince, all of a sudden, since Vince came back, he's making all these matches. No. Triple H was the one who did the fucking stupid ass, the worst cash in of all time. He was that guy. One. Two. He was the guy who brought in freaking damage control who fucking sucks. They're bad. They're they're garbage. <laughs> It has been has been a detriment to Bailey's career right now. Honestly, like Bailey is a loser now. She's a complete loser. Like she has she's lost everything she had before she got hurt. Everything. She's lost all of it. You know what I mean? And damage control just sucks. And then this is the same guy who kind of shit on the whole Bobby and Brock shit. He booked all of that, bro. He booked that shit. What positive, somebody please help me. What positive has Triple H have done since he's been in the the chair? What positive? Name, I need somebody to, to help me out with that. Somebody, please. I need to know one, one positive thing that he has done since he got in. Because... I, I'm not seeing it, man. I'm, I'm be honest. I'm not, I'm not seeing any, any like. It was, it was fun. It, it was fun in the first couple weeks, you know what I mean, with some of the guys. But then after a while, it got stupid. First of all, Johnny Gargano is shit. He's not doing anything. Two, neither is Dexter Loomis. Like a lot of these guys want Escobar's losing all the time. He's been losing since. Triple H brought back. Freaking, um, these doofuses, <laughs> freaking, um, what are they called? Uh, um, Hit Row. They brought back Hit Row, man, and Hit Row has been basura, trash, garbage. Oh, get them out of here. You, they wasted freaking Karen Cross. Come on, bro. Give me something. Bray Wyatt is shit. Somebody help me, please. What has Triple H done? What has he done? That we can say, sit here and say that he he had nothing to do with all this shit. Please. Tell me. Let me get back to it, man. But Seth, one, why are you putting Seth and Omos together? One, these two guys, who are you going to have win? If you have Seth beat Omos, obviously Omos, Seth can bounce back from losing to Omos because Omos is obviously bigger. But if you have Omos lose to Seth, you you're, you killed him. There's no more reason to put him on TV. You, you would literally kill this guy. He just lost to freaking Brock Lesnar. He lost to Braun Strowman, lost to Brock Lesnar, and then you're going to lower him even lower. Not saying Seth is lower than the guy. Seth is actually just at that same level. But Seth is a smaller guy than, than them too. So you're going to have Omos lose to a, a even smaller Seth Rollins who's smaller than Brock and Braun Strowman. It just doesn't make any sense, man. You're killing this kid. He's in still his 20s. He should be beating people at least. Like, damn. You can have this guy be... He, you can hate, you can have people hate this guy. It's easy. It's not hard. He's a giant. People are not supposed to really like him in the first place. Bro, like, and then the Brock and Cody thing, like, no one can figure out why are they fighting. When it's in your, the story is there. I don't know why people are not just putting it together. It's, it doesn't make any sense. This shit doesn't make any sense. Backlash don't make sense right now. It don't make no damn sense. The matches might be okay, but I'm just going to say they're probably just going to be okay. 
Like, there's nothing on this card that's going to be outstanding. Or that's going to be, like, mind-blowing. Nothing on this card that's going to make me feel like, oh, this is this is it. Like, this is, this is great. The only storyline they really got that's cemented is the damn Judgment Day versus Bad Bunny and Rey Mysterio. That's all they have. And it's just, you're, you're wasting these guys, man. You're wasting these dudes, man. You're wasting them. Get it together, dog. Get it together, man. Jesus, what is happening, man? <laughs> what is happening, bro? What, 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 what is happening, guys? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand, man. Some of this stuff could be so simple. I don't know what the writers are telling them or who's, like, nixing all this stuff. But, like, man, I'm not putting this on Vince. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not putting this on Vince. This is Triple H. He's in the chair. He hasn't done anything good since he's been in the damn chair. He hasn't changed anything. The only one thing he changed is the tag team titles since he got there in, in the U.S. title. Back and forth between Seth, Bobby, and Theory. Why is Bobby and Theory stuck together? <laughs> Makes no sense. They've been fighting since fucking Money in the Bank last year. And that was last summer. That was last summer. It doesn't make any fucking sense. No sense. No sense at all, y'all. No sense at all, man. Please, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Give me some feedback. I need feedback for this, man. I need some feedback because... None of this stuff is making sense. And I'm not about to sit here and just start blaming Vince for all this bullshit. And... For for some of these freaking YouTubers to do that, and some of y'all on Twitter and stuff to try and blame Vince for this shit, it doesn't make any sense. Triple H has been doing stupid shit since the beginning. Since he got in, bro. Literally been doing stupid shit. It don't make no fucking sense. <sighs> but I appreciate y'all, man, for watching, man. Please... Please in the comments, let me know. I want to. I want to have. I want to have good dialogue on this. This. I want to have some good dialogue. So give me some feedback. Give me. Give me everything y'all got. Give me everything y'all got. But man, appreciate y'all. We out.